Hello, saints. The Lord has put it on my heart to pray this for you all, according to Ephesians 3, 17. I pray that the Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width and length and depth and height, to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to him be glory in the church, by Christ Jesus, to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. And I lift this video up to you, Lord. I thank you for what you are doing. I thank you. And I pray for everyone that is that is watching this. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, here we go with Proverbs 21. Oh, be, oh yeah, before I forget. I just like to give credit where credit is due. Picarillo, thank you for your suggestion on those half sole inserts for the um, for the shoes for the boots. It's almost like I say almost. <laughs> it's almost like wearing tennis shoes. God bless you. All right. Proverbs 21. The king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. People may be right in their own eyes, but the Lord examines the heart. The Lord is more pleased when we do what is right and just than we offer him sacrifices. Haughty eyes, a proud heart, and evil actions are all sin. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Wealth created by a lying tongue is a vanishing mist and a deadly trap the violence of the wicked sweeps them away because they refuse to do what is just the guilty walk a crooked path the innocent travel a straight road it's better to live alone in the corner of an attic than with a quarrelsome wife in a lovely home evil people desire evil their neighbors get no mercy from them if you punish a mocker the simple-minded become wise if you instruct the wise they will be all the wiser the righteous one knows what is going on in the home of the wicked he will bring disaster on them those who shut their ears to the cries of the poor will be ignored in their own time of need Help those that need to be helped. Amen. A secret gift calms anger. A bribe under the table pacifies fury. Justice is a joy to the godly, but it terrifies evildoers. The person who strays from common sense will end up in the company of the dead. Those who love pleasure become poor. Those who love wine and luxury will never be rich. The wicked are punished in place of the godly and traitors in place of the honest. It's better to live alone in the desert than with a quarrelsome, complaining wife. The wise have wealth and luxury, but fools spend whatever they get. Whoever pursues righteousness and unfailing love will find life righteous and honor. The wise conquer the city of the strong and level the fortress in which they trust. Watch your tongue and keep your mouth shut and you will stay out of trouble. Mockers are proud and haughty. They act with boundless arrogance. Despite their desires, the lazy will come to ruin for their hands refuse to work. Some people are always greedy for more, but the godly love to give. Do you love to give? 
you know, to be honest, I'm I'm working on it. Uh, I learned a lot about giving through different cultures. And I notice um, from what I've been exposed to the um, Asian culture in general, they're they're very giving. You know, I would I would go to lunch at work and I would just eat my food. And, you know, I notice if I happen to sit down and they have food, they'll offer me their food. And it just blows me away every time, you know, I'm like, wow, they're, they're willing to share their own food. And, uh, you know, I'm just amazed and it and it and it showed me how I could be more of a, a giving person. The sacrifice of an evil person is detestable, especially when it is offered with wrong motives. A false witness will be cut off, but credible witness will be allowed to speak. The wicked bluff their way through, but the virtuous think before they act. No human wisdom or understanding or plain or plan rather can stand against the Lord. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. Amen. That was Proverbs 21. And I just wanted to share some uh, things that are happening. Uh, I've been um, sharing the good news with some um I don't want to say non-believers, but they're believers. They just don't know it yet. And, um, you know, you see you see it on YouTube a lot. You see it everywhere where, yeah, you know, I, I shared the gospel. These people accepted Christ. And, you know, they might be watching this video. And, you know, um, as Anna Marie say, you know, I, I say it with love. Uh, honestly, I'm a little frustrated if I share the gospel and, like, they don't get it. And I don't know, maybe I, I shared too much, you know, because honestly, when I share the gospel with people, I, you know, I just I get so excited. I'm I get so happy that there, there's someone about to come to the kingdom. But I'm finding out I'm running into like some people there. They're just not ready yet. So who knows? Maybe I'm just there to uh, plant the seed and someone else will water. But. I just feel like if I share the gospel, they should just they should just accept it, right? I mean, it's good news, and um, I'm just happy that for them to get translated from darkness into the light. But I guess sometimes they're they're not ready, you know. And um, so yeah, just continue to, to pray for me, and that you know, it's just in my heart. I just want to touch people's lives, you know. As long as I'm here on this earth, I want to put a stamp uh, on this earth, you know, in Jesus' name. And, um, you know, I, I'll be, I, I don't want no one to, you know, to, at the end of their life saying, oh man, I, I should have accepted Jesus, you know. I, I want everyone that I come across to accept Jesus. I mean, why not, right? All right, saints. I'll talk to you later. Enjoy this day. Amen.